Hello everybody, this is a quick demo of Zibalba's Revenge. It's a flash game I developed uh, for a school project, but I hope to develop it uh, further. Uh, but here we are. There it is. It's a Mayan theme. Uh, as you can see, uh, this little loading screen, we have uh, <coughs> our little intro window, I guess you could call it. Or uh, It's called uh, Design, Art, and Programming. It was done by me. Christian Massar, and the music was done by Carlos Castillo. He's actually a former college roommate of mine, a very good uh, musician, and uh, Carlos, I'd like to thank you very much for uh, uh, being willing and being able to contribute to this project. All right, well, let's start level one. So here we are. <clears throat> I'm just using basic controls uh, up to, to jump, left, right to move, of course, uh, holding down the down key to duck. Um, yeah, there will be many times in this game where you have to duck and to avoid obstacles. Okay, we got a mosquito. <laughs> got that. All right. So I'm pressing spacebar to shoot uh, darts. Uh, as you can see here in the upper uh, part of the screen here, there are uh, there's he it shows health, darts, and your score. And score is very important in Zabalba's Revenge. Uh, you get score by killing enemies and uh, picking up coins. And uh, if you get a certain number of points, you get upgrades. Uh, the upgrades I have at the moment are health and damage upgrades. But uh, hopefully, you know, in the kind of full version of the game, if we want to call it that, um, I would like to have uh, more. Oh, here's a, uh, a dude walking along here. Ow! He hit me there. Okay. There we go. Nice little blood splatter there. Okay, now that I got hurt a little bit, I'll pick up a health object right there. I give him another coin. Oh boy. I gotta run from this guy here. Because uh, it's an insta-kill if he touches me. You're dead, son. Alright. Well, let's get this then. Get that coin. Let's proceed. Again, this is level one. A very basic level. Um... Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too special here. Uh, whoa! Oh, man. Okay, yeah, he won't go this way. Okay, so, uh, with different levels, I tried to kind of implement uh, different things. Like, I wanted to have more platforming in, uh, one level than another. I wanted to have more combat. Um, and a combination of both, perhaps. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see damage increase. I passed the 1,000 point threshold. Uh, that will be changed, but uh, because 1,000 points, as you can see, I got that in the first level. That's a little too easy, but that will be changed. Uh, but for demo purposes, this is good, actually, because then it allows me to show uh, the upgrades. So this is level 2. This is Blood River. I'm on the way to Zabalba, the Mayan underworld. Um, the, the, s the basic premise of this game is based off of the Popo Vu, that's a sacred uh, Mayan book. Uh, so it describes Mayan uh, mythology in terms of creation of the world, uh, creation of humanity. But one of the parts was uh, detailed uh, the hero twins descent into the, Zba the Zababa, the Mayan underworld. Okay, kind of running low on darts here. Kind of used up a lot in the last level there. Uh, in Zabalba's Revenge here, the game here, uh, what you can do is say, if you need extra distance, you kind of fall, then jump. Fall, then jump. So it, you kind of skip off the, the edge you just fell off of. Okay, I kind of missed a coin there, but that's okay. <clears throat> so this level, uh, level two, uh, was... Um, Inspired by Blood River, which is a uh, location or uh, a river in uh, in the Popo Vu. There was another uh, river called the Pus River, but I, mean, I, I was originally going to put that in here, but then it was kind of redundant. You know, blood and pus. You know, I'd rather drink blood than pus. So. Um, so here we go. We're platforming along here. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to show you the first few levels, just to just to give you an idea of what the game is about. Okay, and there's a little platform we managed to get on here. Okay, more mosquitoes here. Yeah, it's only mosquitoes in this level. Um. Ow! D 
die, you malaria bugs there. Okay, so here we are. Collecting coins. I have a little health. <sighs> Got a little bit of damage there, so wouldn't be a bad idea to pick some of that stuff up. Okay, so only two darts left. Aha, there's a dart bag. That, uh, that sounds bad. It sounds like a dirt bag or something like that, but um, a dart box. Okay, so proceed. I don't want to fall on this map because there are two hazards. Um, there are razors, which are another insta-death oh. thing. Um, and the Blood River, of course, which covers the whole bottom of this map. So, it, or this level. So, if I fall off, like, I'm dead, unless I can somehow manage to get a platform below me. Okay. Uh, I really had a lot of fun making this level because you could see the waterfall there and uh, there also is a quick way to get down this level, so you can kind of bypass the harder stuff. But it's uh, but the rewards are a lot less because uh, you don't get so many points. And the thing I wanted to get, get, get along with or get across was Zabalba's revenge was there would be parts that would be risky, uh, that would be dangerous, like, you know, um, there would be a lot of platforming that could uh, easily kill you if you slipped, um, you know, something like that. But the rewards were really great, like there would be a lot of coins or something along the way. And, uh, but the less risk you took, the less points you got, and therefore the less upgrades you got. So that's what I tried to kind of get along or put across here. Oh, I can make it! Yeah, okay, ah! Whoa! There's a bat. Okay. Alright. Oh, see, now, if, if you noticed from the first uh, level there, it took three hits to kill those uh, dart denizens there. or That's what I called them. They don't shoot darts, um, but that's kind of the name I have for them at the moment. Um, but, uh, uh, but it took three shots before, so, but with the damage upgrade, it only takes two. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun uh, creating the death animation for that, that guy. I know that may sound sick, but... Uh, 